How's it going everybody? Just made it in time for the next episode of Plucky Squire. Last episode we met the coolest character of the game, Tumba the Flamingo, with his trusty shovel, but now we're just scaling up this volcano to try and find the next power-up for Jot. And then from there, working our way back to the book and starting the next adventure. So good to go. Uh, my goodness. You're an unusual looking dinosaur. You have the look of someone who's on a mission. You're planning to scale the volcano, aren't you? Well, it's pretty dangerous. Take that primal axe over there. It'll give you the power to make it to the top. Are we going Jack Jot? Oh, okay, no, just Caveman Jot. And now it's just 2D hack and slash? Oh yeah, I walked all the way in the 3D world to get a picture at the end of this horizontal part. I want to check what controls I have. Do I have... Okay, he doesn't have double jump, but he has a little float at the end. Any other buttons? Roll? No. Yeah, it's just hack and slash. That's all we got. Okay. I don't know how long we're going to be caveman jack for. Oh, it's probably the entire climb, I guess. Get ready to run. He's a lot more animated in this than the actual game. Are we going to still be running? Or is it... That's it for the, the racing part. Can I crouch? No? Okay. Yeah, just a nice little 2D caveman for part. I guess at the end we're gonna have to do everything. Fight, jump, and climb. Or, nope, or avoid meteorites. Now is it the whole trail or is it just the actual meteorite that I have to watch out for? Yeah, one shot in the air is all you need. Okay, keep hacking slashing. Oh, the, I didn't know the pterodactyls come down. I thought they were just something to don't jump too high. Oh, dinosaur. Or T-Rex. It's all dinosaurs. And it's down. Okay. I thought it was going to be boss fight or something. And time traveler? I'm Tim. Well, hello. You managed quite an impressive feat of adventuring, quite getting all the way up here. My name's Time Tim. Pleasure to meet you. Your adventure too, you know, a lot of time traveler, as a matter of fact. I'd like to visit possible futures and histories to see what I can find. Here, I found lots of pointy teeth and claws are all quite thrilling. Now, let me don't let me hold you up. Better leave the primal axe here. If it's removed, it could alter the course of history. Don't get me started on butterfly effects. And we power down, unfortunately. Excellent. The timelines are already quite messy as they are, you know? Return, something that you may find useful. Uh, just a portal? You gotta talk more? I'll be seeing you, adventure, another time. Oh, uh, I wish you would, like, warp out of here. Okay, Time Tim is pretty cool, but I don't think he beats Tumbo right now. And before I go get the stamp, just checking for any... ...other things. In case of any collectibles up here. Jot got the bomb stamp. When on top of the book, press L2 to stamp a bomb into the page. You can obliterate obstacles and enemies. Okay, I know where I'm using this a few times. An explosive development. You acquired the bomb stamp. Get back to your book and cause some shockwaves. The path back is through here. Lucky Squire. Okay. I really wish the sticky note would just fly down, like float down instead of it just walking. I think it would be cooler to do that. He's still walking. Where is this taking me? Look, there's a whole world over here. Okay, collect all the goods here. Uh, what happened? He went off screen. Oh, there we go. It corrected itself. There. 
Collect all the cash while I'm here. Be on the lookout for any pictures to collect. Is there anything else? No. So I guess, like, Sam was into dinosaurs today. And then tomorrow he'll be into something. I'm gonna guess he's gonna be into, like, westerns tomorrow or something. Right oh, Jot. Time to show those some grump grump paninis what your new bomb stamp can do. Get yourself on top of that book. First I'll select the bomb stamp. Can it just be like L2 and R2 kind of thing? Okay. Oh, we explo exploded thrash. Oh no, we bombed the, the tanks. That makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> These soldiers did not know what to expect. Hey. He's supposed to die. Okay, now start blowing up everything. Looking for any treasure. I know there's a glitch bird. Oh wait, we have to? Can I not turn the page? No, not yet, I guess. I know at least two things I have to blow up with this bomb stamp. Jot, those tanks, they suddenly just blew themselves up. Must have been from boredom. They've been sitting there in the same spot for ages. Wait, dude. Is this some kind of new plucky power of yours? Oh, wow. Whoa, Jot can blow stuff up now. Come a dig, Jot Blast. Good combo. Mind blowing. Lead the way, Master Blaster. Well, first we get the picture. That's top priority. There we go. Hopefully it's the next one in order. Hopefully I didn't miss one. Okay, didn't miss any. Uh, John is seeing stains on his writing hand. I can't even... Oh yeah, there are some stains there. Jot... I don't know why the pen is... so big there. Same pattern on both shoes. On both sides. Oops, okay. Yeah, that's Jot. No difference there. Uh, I would like to leave the book again, though. If possible. Doesn't look like it. I want to leave the book, turn a few pages, and blow up a few things. I know there's a glitch bird I can reach. We'll wait to the next exit. These some grumpy dudes really love their crates, huh? They have a real talent for blocking our way. Tumba thinking there may be other way around. Jungle full of hidden places among trees. You clear the leaves, you find the way. Sounds promising. Jot, maybe you could use that old plucky pizzazz. Take a look from above. Blast away some of the leaves. Okay, first we go over here. I do want to blast, but at the same time I want to turn some pages. Just clear a path completely? Okay. I don't think we can get rid of all of them. I think it's just the main path, maybe. It's obviously the, the deeper colored grass that I'm clearing. There we go. Okay, I would like to turn the page. There we go. We gotta go back a few pages here. Uh, is it this one? No, okay. Nope. There we go, okay. Exit. Here he is. This is top priority. Okay, I need to get back in though. Just because it seems like you can't go back on chapters, so you might as well grab everything you can now. And hopefully New Game Plus or Chapter Select just keeps track of everything. There we go. You found a fourth gloss glitch bird. Glitch birds are highly curious creatures, but alas, not incredibly perceptive. These often lead to them becoming confused and lost. After a while, they become quite lonely and long to return to their homeland. Good job finding this one. Okay. Now roll all the way back. I don't think there's anything else I have to do in this book. Or in this chapter. We can check, but I'm pretty sure. No, nothing worth exploding. I gotta turn all the way back.
Come on, keep flipping. It's so slow. There we go. Okay, first step is over here. No, in the book. If we need a key, might as well do the key first then. I'll just hack my way to victory. Okay. Can we leave with flip with the key? Oh, we can. They just don't see it. Okay. Well, we got some sluppers, I think they're called. I probably, I would have to check the book again to make sure of their name. Doesn't really matter, just walk past them all. Hurry, they're coming! There. Now for some 2D. Oh, there's nothing on this sign. There's not even a sign there. Oh, okay. Can I read then leave? No. Okay, I need that block to move over. Ow! I need to move that block over. We got some bats. What are they called? They're called slats, I think? I forget their names. It's all in that, uh... The deleted concept pages. Anything on this side I can do? Nope. Blow it up. Uh, I have idea what I have to do, but... Oh! Okay. That's not what I expected. One switch. Oh, am I just manipulating bombs? Okay. Uh, how do I get this one? Blow it up. Looks like it. Okay, yeah, got it. Uh, press the next one. This is a weird little puzzle. Uh, I guess I have to carry it myself. Hopefully I don't get stuck in here. Uh, pick up. Walk it over. Aha! What do we got? Hopefully I didn't miss any. Just concept out for Thrash. Both hands. Thrash has calluses on his fingers from drumming and on the soles of his feet from walking barefoot. Okay. I thought those were shoes. Okay. Odd that they didn't give him shoes. Uh, another bomb. Now I have to remember that bombs are also blocks I can use. Oh wait, I have to go back in? Uh, I'm missing something here. There's no other buttons, right? Yeah, okay. What am I not noticing? Oh! I'm not sure what this sign is supposed to do. Put that there. Read. I don't know what that is. What if I do... This? Oh, wait. Okay, I see it. That took a little too much time to see it. There we go. Done. 
More soldiers, are we gonna talk to them? Yep. Do you think they're going to, um, let us in? Problem Peeve. The problem, Peeve, is that we don't have Operation Hammer Time clearance. Yes, well, to be honest, I'm a bit of a disappointed about that. I've been filing all my paperwork very thoroughly and ironic ironing my shirt every day. But still, no clearance. Now you mention it, your shirt has been looking very crisp. Thank you, I'm glad someone noticed. And now his shirt is wrinkled beyond belief. Covered in blood. Hello, gang. Those gates can't open them here, but there may be a switch further ahead. Just a thought. Moonbeard out. Hey, Tumba, start digging. There we go. Oh, there we go. Looks like you'll be the one forging ahead, dude. We'll cool our heels here while you find the switch. And away I go. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Gotta collect the scroll every time. Uh, of course, it's for Violet. The next one better be for Tumba. Right hand and left hand. Violet's hands are pain sainted. Okay. Hat brim around the hat. Oh, they even counted how many little arches are on their hat. Okay. Oh, I guess I can buy some more stuff. Can I afford it? Oh, yeah. I can afford everything. Oh, unless they immediately upgrade it. Okay. Good to go. Fire! And fire again. Yeah, hopefully we get some more jacked jot later in this uh, this chapter. It's, it probably happens like every chapter. Large metal battery. Ground pound! Oh, I killed two of them. A row of heavy gates blocked the way. Okay, and the gates are no longer up. I expected a more of a puzzle for those. Ground pound. Oh, the big guy can throw cement at you. Okay, let him come to me. He's got a sign on his back, so I'm wondering if that's his weakness. Doesn't matter, he's already dead. Here lies a solitary goblin. Well, he's coming right at me. I was gonna leave him alone. He was just sleeping. Large metal goblin. Oh, nope. Oh. Is it a boss? Oh, he's just stuck. Okay. I thought we got the f a new enemy. Okay, got a battery. What do I want to do with the battery? Mechanical bridge. There's no switches here. Or no text, nope. I guess try putting the battery. No, okay. Uh, I will pick up the battery and bring it with me. There's probably a switch on the other page. No, there's not. Okay. Something else. I think it has to do with the metal guy. A big metal goblin. If you want to dislodge it, you might want to blast it. Oh, okay. Did not think that was gonna be the solution. Basically, we're just gonna blast everything in this chapter. Gotta put him in the right spot here. If he'll cooperate. Is he stuck? He's stuck. 
I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm kind of just putting them back and forth. I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, get the battery back. Turn it back into a battery. Let me use the small battery as a switch. There we go. And then take out every guard, even though they have more than three hits. Probably don't even have to fight him. I could just grab the battery and the hammer and leave. Actually, is it a hammer? It looks like it. Oh, there's a gate up. I guess I couldn't. What is this? It just looks like a hammer. I don't know how this is like electrical switch. There we go. Yeah, just put the hammer in the slot, I guess. Ahoy! How'd you get through? Good work, Jot. Knew you'd nail it. Jot got, got, got it done. You got one of those thinking brains, dude. That's the way to your success. That's the key to your success. So I guess the way is open. We can get to see what this Operation Hammer Time is all about. Let's get to it. Tumba can come too. Tumba can just come with us for the rest of the game. Best character in the game so far. Tumba! Head is where Humgrub is be hunkering. Tumba happy to have got you here. But Tumba has to be going now. Got some mice to be feeding. Tumba dude, thank you so much for getting us here. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, we'd still be loading around behind the massive iron gate. You're an amazing Tumba. That that that. Tumba feel happy. Made some new friends today. Tumba can't dance, but Tumba dancing anyway. It's pretty good. Okay, he's done. Time to feed the baby mice. So long and good luck, friends. There goes a righteous little duckling. Trog speed, Tumba. He was more, he was a flamingo. Okay, come on, it's time to crash Humgrub's party. Nope. First we're going this way to see what treasures I can find, if any. Anything? This is an odd corner. Anything behind? Gotta check everywhere. Nothing. Come on, talk to him. Beware, travelers. Real crazy things going on over that ridge. Nothing. Okay. Our heroes climbed to a grassy vantage point and looked below to see nothing. An enormous clanking machine. <laughs> Fire! Rolled scores of dangerous looking vehicles. Which before our hero's eyes sped away towards Artia. So that's what the grumpy grump was a bit up to. Making tanks, dangerous, dangerous things. That's why he chose Boogie Beach. There's a direct line from the beach to the castle, you know? Well, gang, this is a dire situation, make no mistake. But you did good, you've given us warning. I'm briefing the Queen and putting the armies of Artia on high, highest alert. Hey, you three, it's time to get back to Artia. No time to waste. But well, we're going to defeat Humgrum's forces. We've got to do it together. Moonbeard out. This is heavy. Those tanks are rolling straight to my hometown. So the aim of Operation Hammer Time is to hammer Artia Castle? 
We have to hold the hammer. Come on, let's go. And so our heroes sprinted off to Artia. Can we just stop them at the state this the source? Chapter 8 Clash at the Castle. Oh, it's nighttime again. The gang arrived at Artia to see the aftermath of a great battle. The army of Artia had been thoroughly defeated by Humdrup's forces. Oh, Humdrup's minions have really done a number on this place. My town this is a disaster. The Artian, the Artian guard stands no map more. Humdrup's forces, the metal beasts, all too much. I wasn't strong enough. Lucky Squire, go defend the castle. Protect the queen. Is he fading because he's about to die, or is it a glitch? Anything else I can do here? Oh, here we go. Totally worth grabbing. Death fish. Ah, uh, an intro page for a shooting minigame idea. We always wanted Jot to become super buff when the situation called for it. There's no real logic to it. It just seemed like a funny idea. Pretty much, he, he goes muscle, he goes jacked whenever it's a minigame. Just call him Jack Jot. That's all you need. Can fire hurt me? Oh, okay. Yes, it can. Good to know. Okay. Uh, since it's a new chapter, I'll probably call it quits here. It's a, probably a shorter episode, but... I didn't expect the beach to be so short after getting the upgrade. I bombed a few walls and that was it. So I guess next episode will be entirely about this chapter, seeing if I can do it all in one go. If not, probably two episodes as usual to finish the chapter. So other than that, I will see you guys next episode.